Hi, everyone, and welcome to Security Speakeasy, where we talk about all things network security. Today, we are talking about one of the latest attacks using DNS called Strategically Aged Domain. My name is Ashraf Aziz, Product Marketing Manager at Palo Alto Networks, and today I'm joined by my colleague and industry expert, Sandhya Gupta. Sandhya, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thanks, Ashraf. Hello, everyone. I'm Sandhya Gupta, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer for Internet Security at Palo Alto Networks. I'm excited to be here today speaking with you. Thanks, Sandhya. So as, as we've seen in the news recently, DNS is becoming increasingly abused by attackers to carry out attacks involving command and control, malware delivery, phishing, and much more. And amongst the different types of DNS layer threats we've seen, strategically aged domains is becoming a popular technique used by attackers. So to kick things off, Sandhya, can you tell us a little bit about what exactly are strategically aged domains and how it works? Sure. So strategically aged domains are the domains that are registered in advance, left dormant for months or even years before using them for an attacking campaign. So the idea here is that by lengthening the life of the domain, it becomes easier for the attacker to bypass the reputation-based checks done by the security vendors. So what happens is that during this dormant phase, the command and control domain belonging to the advanced persistent threat or the APT mm -hmm. remains inactive, sending only limited heartbeat traffic to its C2 server. This communication is carried by static host names and the volume of the traffic is limited. Then once it comes out of its incubation period on the activation day, there is a significant surge in DNS request going out to the new subdomains. The Trojan uses domain generation algorithm or DGA to dynamically construct these host names, which are then used to relay encoded system and user information to the attacker. So this is how, in short, strategically aged domains are used in combination with DGA to bypass security controls and to exfiltrate the data. And so it sounds like this threat is difficult to detect because of the advanced and sophisticated techniques it evolves. Uh, so what are some of the challenges organizations face when trying to protect against attacks like strategically aged domains? In fact, most organizations do not have a dedicated DNS security solution in place to protect against today's latest uh, DNS-based attacks. So it is this in combination with the ubiquity of DNS itself that makes it a very powerful tool for attackers to use. And if you look at it, DNS is everywhere. It is bi-directional, it is internet facing, it carries data. And all these characteristics make DNS a very flexible and easily accessible protocol for attackers to use. But even with all of this, DNS is often overlooked by organizations, leaving it vulnerable to many threats today that abuse DNS. And because you mentioned that a lot of organizations today don't have any solution at all to prevent the latest DNS layer attacks, have we seen any recent examples of strategically aged domains being used in an attack? Yeah, in the recent past, we have seen strategically aged domains being used in targeted attacks like Pegasus spyware campaign and solar wind supply chain attack. So let's talk about Pegasus. So Pegasus is a spyware that can be covertly installed on iOS and Android devices to collect user credential information and track user behavior. This spyware used two detected C2 domains, which were registered in 2019 left dormant for two years before becoming active in July 2021 with a high percentage of DGA traffic. So what happened was that during the campaign's dormant phase, there were only around 15 daily DNS requests going out to its C2 domain. And then on the activation day, the daily DNS traffic suddenly increased by 56 times. And during this search, the campaign used several DGA subdomains to carry large amount of exploiting traffic to its C2 server. Another notable example is SolarWind cyber compromise that happened in 2020, where strategically aged domains were similarly used to gain initial access into the network and then was used for command and control activities and data exfiltration. So these are just a couple of real life examples 
but we have seen age domains being used in various malicious activities involving phishing, data theft, and to bypass reputation-based uh, checks done by the detectors. I see. So it sounds like attacks that use strategically aged domains can be extremely harmful to an organization and result in things like data loss. Now, can you tell us about what Palo Alto Networks is doing to protect organizations against these threats? Sure, I'll be more than happy to. In 2019, Palo Alto Networks introduced its DNS security service that provides rapid real-time data analysis and intelligence of machine learning that allows us to predict identify and disrupt new emerging DNS layer threats. We built our industry first detection for strategically aged domains with ML models that looks into various identifiable characteristics like domain history, domain name, uh, traffic patterns, subdomain DGAs to block such threats in real time. Our cloud-based DNS security engine uses high fidelity data coming from various sources to ensure that only malicious high reputation domains are blogged with confidence. Similarly, to counter other DNS-based threats that we see today, we have introduced many more industry-first coverage for techniques like dangling DNS, ultra-slow DNS tunneling, DNS rebinding, compromised DNS zones, and many more. In fact, we provide 40% more DNS threat coverage than any other vendor, making our DNS security solution well-suited to protect your organization against any latest DNS-based threats. Well, thanks for all that great info, Sandhya. So just to recap what we learned today, we learned that DNS layer threats like strategically aged domains are increasingly being used for phishing and data exfiltration. And we also learned that organizations today need to have a dedicated DNS security solution to secure their DNS traffic and protect themselves from the latest and most sophisticated attacks using DNS. Well, Sandhya, I'd like to thank you and the audience at home for joining me in this episode of Security Speak Easy. If you liked today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe, and also let us know what you thought about the video in the comments. For more information and resources on our DNS security solution, please visit paulaltonetworks.com.